Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. So, you wanna take your bun on a plane? Maybe you're moving somewhere permanently or you're just traveling somewhere temporarily and you're thinking about bringing your bun or your bunnies along with you. Well, there's a lot of logistics involved in this and I'm gonna cover everything you need to know about traveling on a plane with your rabbits, the good and the bad. So, let's get started. Now, I could not find a single video on the internet that covered this topic, let alone much content to begin with. So I did have to do a lot of research on this, including asking a lot of friends who have flown with their bunnies about their personal experiences. So I hope that this video can be of use to you because it is one of the most frequently asked questions that we get and even myself included, I was very curious about how this whole process works. This is gonna be a long video, so just bear with me. So before we get into how to fly with your bunny, the first and most important question you have to ask yourself here is why? Why do you want to fly with your rabbit on a plane? Now, once you've answered this question, you can kind of determine from there whether it's even necessary to bring your rabbit on a plane to begin with. You have to remember that rabbits are inherently prey animals and therefore get scared very easily. So taking them on a plane might only exacerbate their anxieties. And yes, some bunnies are totally more outgoing than others. Uh, Lennon being one of them, you know, car rides don't even really phase her at this point. But you have to remember as well that traveling by air can be a truly uncomfortable experience, not just for bunnies, but for humans and even some dogs. So imagine being a bunny and going on a plane for the very first time in your life you know, your ears might pop for the very first time. The engines might be very alarming. So again, it's important to take all of that into consideration. But let's say you're moving to a new location permanently and you're looking at a two hour flight versus a 10 hour car ride. I think the answer is pretty obvious there. I personally would choose the flight. But if you just wanna take your bunny on a weekend getaway because you think it'll be cute, um, that's just, probably not gonna be the best idea and it's not gonna be in the best interest of your rabbits. You know, think about the length of time that you're gonna be away from home, if you're gonna be gone for a month or even two months, and it just makes more sense for the rabbit to be in your care rather than someone else's, or maybe boarding them for two months is just gonna be really unaffordable. I think it's pretty reasonable to take them with you in that case, but again, it's a little arbitrary and it's really gonna boil down to you answering the question, why do I need to bring my rabbit? Is it necessary? or is it not necessary? And if it's not, then sometimes you do have to be a little bit selfless and just leave them behind with a good caretaker and uh, let it be. The next thing you wanna think about is location. Where are you traveling to? Does your destination require animals to be quarantined? You know, if international, does your destination require rabbits to be vaccinated? For instance, here in the US, rabbits are not required to be vaccinated. So again, that's all something that you want to take into consideration. Will your living quarters allow your rabbits to stay with you? You know, this includes hotel, Airbnb, um, even if you're staying with friends or family, are they gonna be okay with a rabbit staying there. Just make sure that wherever you're staying will welcome your pet. I also highly suggest connecting with a local rabbit rescue if there is one nearby. That way you have somewhat of a resource and a community to turn to if something does go wrong. And look into whether there's a rabbit savvy vet within proximity. Again, you really just want to get all of that squared away before even going through the trouble of getting on that plane with your rabbit. Now the next big question is how? How do I even get on a plane with my rabbit? So there's pretty much just two ways to go about this. There are some airlines that do allow rabbits in the cabin with you for a service charge. And I'm gonna write out that list for you below. I'm sure it's gonna be an ever-changing list because policies are always evolving. 
but um, usually the fee can be anywhere between 90 to about $125, depending on the airline. Now, a lot of these airlines will require for the rabbit to stay in the carrier during the whole flight. So if you do have a Flemish giant or one of those larger bodied rabbits, you really wanna make sure they can sit, stand, and lay comfortably under the seat. Now, occasionally, um, if you you know have one of those really empty flights where there's no one sitting next to you and maybe um, the flight attendants think your bunny is very cute, you might be able to get away with you know letting the bunny out for a few minutes. But you know it's still very important to be respectful and mindful of the airline policy. Some airlines will also allow a two pet maximum to fly with you, so that's perfect. If you have two bonded bunnies, they can even share the same carrier and kind of comfort each other. But again, I just urge you all to visit the airline's website and look at their pet policies and then kind of determine whether it's gonna be a good fit for you or not. Now, the second way to fly with your bunnies in the cabin is to have them as an emotional support animal. Now, I did make a very detailed video on how Lennon became my emotional support animal, which I will link somewhere around here, but please do not fraudulently claim your rabbits to be emotional support animals. Airlines are really cracking down on that, and it only hurts the cause. It doesn't help it. Now, if your rabbit is an emotional support animal, you do not have to pay a fee for them to ride with you. They are also not considered carry-on luggage, and the airline is not allowed to discriminate against you or your disability just because of your rabbit. ESAs are also allowed to sit on your lap and be outside of the carrier. Now this isn't always the best idea for rabbits. It really depends because some rabbits might be too scared to come out of their carrier, but other rabbits just might feel more comfortable in your arms. So again, it's it really just depends on the rabbit. And remember that there's a huge difference between emotional support animals and service animals, again, which I explain in that video. Now, if you are going to be traveling with your rabbit as an emotional support animal, you do have to let the airline know ahead of time. And every airline is different, but you know, some airlines might require you to fill out a couple forms. Um, one of which might have to be from a vet stating that your rabbit is healthy and able to travel. Um, other airlines might just require a letter from a mental health professional stating your need for the emotional support animal. So again, I just uh, really suggest you uh, review these policies on the airline's website. Now, rabbits are pretty harmless, so we don't have to often worry about them misbehaving or being a nuisance, um, but the rules will still apply to emotional support animals. They can't be blocking the aisle. You know, sanitation is important, so make sure you're boarding the plane with a clean carrier. Um, you don't want an old stinky carrier that hasn't been cleaned out in a while because the last thing you want is someone complaining that your rabbit smells and then you get kicked off the plane and we all know rabbits don't smell but if you don't clean their habitat very often then of course it's gonna smell now for some reason you just can't ride with your bunny in the cabin I really don't recommend flying them in cargo it's just too much of a risk because you're not able to monitor them so much can go wrong from GI stasis to a heat stroke to a heart attack you know they might be trapped down there with a bunch of other animals animals, including dogs and cats, who could probably scare them with their barking. It's just not worth it. So um, that's something that you really have to look into. Okay, so let's say that you've decided to fly with your rabbits and you've gotten them approved with the airline. Let's go over what to do to prepare for the flight. Now, one thing you can do to get your bunny used to riding around or being outside of their comfort zone is to take them for a few car rides, maybe around the block, um, just a couple times a week, just to get them used to movement and get them used to different sounds. Now, again, you don't want to make your bunny so uncomfortable that they're not gonna eat or anything like that, but at least it'll prepare them for you know the big plane ride. Um, get them used to being in their carrier. You can even lay the carrier down on the ground, let them sniff it, let them explore it, let them hop in and out of it. Next, I really suggest getting a vet checkup, whether the airline requires it or not, because you really wanna make sure that your bunny is in a good condition to travel in the air. You know, make sure that 
their heart is okay, their lungs are okay, they don't have any respiratory infections. Make sure that your rabbits eat and use a bathroom before you get to the airport because once you're in the airport and then in the airplane, they're probably gonna be a little too scared to eat. They may or may not use the bathroom in their carrier, so make sure you always place a little pee pad or newspaper in the carrier. I also really like these Penelope pads, which look and feel like blankets, but are ultra absorbent liners as well. You can also give your rabbits some natural um, remedies to kind of calm them down. I personally like the Small Pet Select Zen Tranquility Blend that comes with a bunch of different herbs. Some people also like Pet Remedy or Rescue Remedy. I have never used either of those, so I cannot vouch for them, but I'm gonna link them below anyway. Whatever you do, do not try to sedate the rabbit before the flight. Now, when it comes to carriers, there's a bunch to choose from. I'm gonna link quite a few below um, so that you have some different options, but again, and just double check with the airline. Make sure the dimensions are correct. Make sure it's gonna fit under that seat. You don't want you know, to get kicked off that plane if that carrier doesn't fit. It's important to make sure the carrier has a lot of pocket space because you can just throw in a bunch of stuff in there and not worry about overstuffing your own suitcase. And make sure that it's a soft-sided carrier, not a hard case carrier, because you do want a little bit of flexibility when you're putting that under the seat. I also like carriers that you can slide onto your suitcase handle and that way when you're just gliding your suitcase your rabbit is also kind of gliding with it now what to pack i did make a very detailed video on some of the best travel items for rabbits out there right now i'm going to link that somewhere around here and i really suggest you watch it because quite frankly um, it's a lot of information for me to repeat in this video but the main thing that you want to be paying attention to when you're packing is how much space are you going to have you know are you taking just a carry-on are you checking in a bigger bag and if you have the room you know pack whatever you can pack in your suitcase that belongs to your rabbit the main things that you really want to pay attention to are hay maybe some food you know a, a litter box and you know a couple toys or something you know, everything else is kind of secondary and you know rabbits don't require much they're kind of content with like chewing on a cardboard box so you know you don't really have to bring that much the way I like to look at it is I like to pack maybe just enough hay and you know pellets to last for maybe a meal or two and then whenever i arrive to my destination i can just go to the grocery store or go to the nearest pet store and buy whatever else i need to buy or if you order hay or bedding litter on the internet just have it delivered to wherever you're going to be staying and make sure it arrives on time in terms of a litter box you know i've got quite a few uh, portable litter boxes that will easily fit you know in a suitcase or you know in a in a purse or something you know pack critical care pack some first aid items as well uh, maybe some baby gas drops if they uh, have some gas pack their syringe so that if they they aren't drinking voluntarily you can use a syringe to give them water if your rabbit does have a blankie or a little stuffed animal that they just can't live without you know definitely bring bring that you know bring anything that's going to make them feel comfortable and feel like they're at home if your bunny is going to be free roaming um then it might be wise to take some bunny proofing supplies with you it doesn't require much you know i like to maybe take some cord cable protectors um you know maybe some shipping tape if i want to cover up some baseboards i like nic grids as well i think nic grids are perfect for travel because they just lay flat in the suitcase and i like to just zip tie a couple together and then i can kind of place that you know wherever i want to block something for instance now when you get to the airport also remember that might be a little bit stressful for the rabbits um, there's gonna be a lot of people a lot of commotion and you're gonna have to go through security I have not forgotten about that you will have to take the rabbit out of the carrier and go through the x-ray machine and then after that you can put your rabbit right back in the carrier and if you're flying domestic you know usually there isn't an issue taking hay or veggies with you here are some additional tips for your plane ride make sure if you can to pick an eye seat that way you don't have any difficulties getting in and out with your rabbit choose a seat that is 
further away from the engine. You know, once you're on the plane, you're gonna spend a lot of time monitoring your rabbit and comforting them, especially during a takeoff and landing. Those are probably the most important times of the flight. You wanna make sure your bunny's okay because there's just so much turbulence and so much noise. Just, you know, pet them, talk to them. Make sure you bring that favorite blankie or a t-shirt that smells like you, something that they can curl up in and make them feel like they're at home. You can also take that same blanket and cover their entire carrier with it, just so it kind of simulates a hidey house and they're not having to see all of their surroundings. And if you have another bunny, the nice thing is they can comfort each other and they can share a carrier. If the plane is feeling a little warm, you can dab a little bit of water on their ears. Most rabbits will not want to eat on the flight, um, but you just never know. It's, it's still, I would say, very important to bring a little bag of veggies with you, maybe their favorite treat. And hay, hay is very important. They also probably won't want to drink. Nonetheless, it's still important to have water available and offer it to them whenever possible. Last but not least, recovery is very important. Now, you're gonna kind of gauge how your rabbit is feeling um, on the airplane, probably around mid-flight. They're either gonna be very scared or they're gonna be very curious. You know, some bunnies, might acclimate very easily to being on a plane and might just want to poke their head out and you know meet everybody i mean that's kind of how lennon is but not every bunny is like that if you notice that your bunny is really scared throughout the flight chances are their recovery is going to take a lot longer once they get off the flight so when you get off the plane I really, really recommend going straight to where you're going to be staying. No pit stops, you know, don't get lunch, don't go buy groceries, you know, all that stuff is not important. The most important thing is getting your rabbit on solid ground, setting up their living space, you know, making it feel as homey as possible and make sure that they're eating, drinking, pooping, make sure that gut is moving because the last thing you want is for your bunny to go into stasis. Uh, over this plane ride. Sometimes the recovery period can take anywhere from 24 to 48 hours. So just monitor them for a little bit of time and make sure that the bunny is gonna eventually go back to being their old self. Look who decided to pay us a visit. All right guys, so that's it for this video. I know it had so much information, but thanks for sticking around. I hope it helped some of you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you all soon. Bye.